Welcome to the second video covering some examples for chapter one. Okay, so we want to go through three questions. I think three is more than enough. This chapter is pretty, pretty lame and boring, and I want to get into the nitty gritty of EBN. So, yeah, um, so yeah, 1.7. The charge flowing in a wire is plotted in figure 1.24, sketch the corresponding current, right? So we know that current I is equal to dQ over dt, right? So therefore, our corresponding current is the derivative of this is... Um, this is 25, this is minus 25, and this is 25. If you don't know why the derivative is that, then I don't know. Then go back to WCW158. But, like, I mean, you've got a rise of 50, you've got 2 seconds, 50 divided by 2 is 25, yeah. So, okay, let me just draw this a little bit better than here. So we want to say this is 25, that's 0, and that's minus 25. And we say that's 2, 4, 6, and 8 there. So at 2, we've got positive 25, okay? And then the current changes and changes to negative 25 from 2 to 6. And then from 6 to 8, it's 25. So that is um, your current, I and T. T, T, that's tall T. Okay. okay, and then question 1.8 says, the current flowing past a point in a device is shown in figure 1.25. Calculate the total charge through the point right so for you to get the charge you get the integral and the integral is the area right so the area of this triangle is five using half base height right so if you've got q there that is one and that is two right so the area the integral of here is um as we said five so the integral of a straight line is a parabola right so i'm going to draw a shabby parabola going like no okay going like okay let's say that that's at five and then here you've got 10 by 1 using area is equal to length times base. I must really fix my stylus, right? So this is this area there is 10. And the integral of a constant gradient is a straight line. So this will be 15 there. So then it's a straight line to there. I'm going to use a, maybe a different color so that it doesn't, the overlap isn't too weird. So yeah, this is what the change in current is going to, the change in charge is going to look like, right? Uh, pretty basic question. These are just uh, math stuffs. And if you don't know your math stuffs, then 158 high school etc 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 okay and then for 1.9 the current through an element is shown in figure 1.26 which is this figure here back to black back to black okay uh they say determine the total charge that passes through the element at one second so you've got current as we said the integral of current is charge so at one second here, we've got 10 by 1, which is 10. As we said, we've got a rectangle, length times base, 10. 
So at I'm gonna see if I can fit this into scale because they want one, three, five, which sucks. So we we'll say that's one, that's three, and that's five, and then we'll say units of ten each: ten, twenty, thirty. So it goes up to ten, like, like that. So at one second we've got, uh, we've got. 10 coulombs of charge oh yeah remember that charge is the units of charge is coulombs coulombs so and then after that we've got this okay let me use a different color different different color we've got this shape going on we've got a little square there and on top of that square we've got a triangle right so therefore the area of the top triangle that's being five and that's being one that makes the 2.5 i mean half base height and then the area of this is five so therefore we need to add 7.5 by i'll say that's about 7.5 right there come on stylus don't give up on me we say that's 17.5 and parabola going up like that okay that's until two seconds and then from two to four we have a square this square going on here from two to four it is a distance of um, it's got two in time and five in height that means it's gonna increase by ten so from 2 to 4, here's our 4 there. So from 17.5, we go to 27.5. We'll just say 27.5 is somewhere there. So then we do that. And so then at 3 seconds, it should be at 22.5. Yellow is a terrible color. Maybe a whatever that color is, this, this will be at 22.5, this area right there, because, I mean, it's increasing from there to there, is 5 by 1, as we said, area is equal to length times base, so therefore at 3 seconds, it's going to be 22.5, and here we're at 27.5, there, and then from there, We've got another half base height going on there, which means we are going to have a little parabola that's going to go up by 2.5 there. So, um, I'm feeling red now. So, little parabola going like that. Little bit of parabola. So, at 5 seconds, we are going to have 30. Right. So, that is... 30 this point right there that was just some um, basic maths nothing really happening here all wtw 158 high school maths nothing new and then we want to go into chapter two in video number three so yeah that's that's that is the summary of what was just happening here